New Delhi has been balancing both sides in its international relations. India will be hosting South Korea's President Moon Jae in this year to add more strategic heft to its growing bilateral economic partnership. Vyond Ramesh Ramachandran reports from Seoul. May I begin by asking you for your... Speaking exclusively to Vyond, South Korea's ambassador to India, Shin Bong Kil, says that President Moon Jae in can soon be expected to visit India. The coming... Uh, visit of uh, my president will uh, be a, a, a mark, a good you see, a, a point to upgrade, uh, upgrade the uh, overall relationship uh, of our two countries. India and South Korea will look to build on convergences between Prime Minister Modi's Act East policy and President Moon's new Southern policy, which seeks better ties with countries in the Indo Pacific. Prime Minister Modi already a couple of times has shown uh, the interest in, in Korea and he said that act East policy, you see, I think its main focus is uh, to uh, Korea and uh, uh, Japan and also Korea's new administration, Moon Jae-in government also has uh, already announced this uh, new Southern policy, we may call it uh, act South policy. And that is uh, main focus is actually uh, uh, India. South Korea and India have concluded a pact on shipbuilding, which was agreed upon during Prime Minister Modi's visit to Seoul in 2015. The South Korean leader's visit to India signals his intent to further integrate South Korea into the security and economic architecture of the Indo-Pacific. Prime Minister Modi's uh, Act East policy and President Moon Jae-in's new Southern policy have some similarities, but the South Korean leader has voiced reservations about the Indo-Pacific strategy being pursued by the US, Australia, Japan and India. Ramesh Ramachandran in Seoul for Weon.